He's poised, but it's the first time he's played in a place like this. And his pass is batting up in the air and caught by Wood. Going to bring some heat. Now he backed off. And the movement is confusing the Cornhuskers. And this play is in big trouble. Haru smothered back at the 23rd basket. Now to take the lead. He's played no yards in the first quarter. Way under duress, and his pass is incomplete. He got belted as he did game. One point game. Virginia Tech lead for basketball. First and 15. And around 36. Jack Lee is double back. Roy Haru breaks tackles. Has a first down across. Those two drives nothing the last couple. Nebraska briskly on the move. As they stop in deep penetration to settle for a field goal. He has some running room. Throws, caught, first. We with time. Zings one incomplete. Four seconds to snap. Under 30 seconds in the half. We had to throw it away. Nebraska just one out of six on third down. Lee given time. And they go Virginia Tech. They caught running down. Zach Lee gives it to Hello. Gaping hole. First down and much more. Lee keeps after the pitch for Hello. To the back judge side. Grave it off. No challenge from Nebraska, another quarterback draw. There's a flag down. Start try from here for Henry. Under a minute and a half to go. Looks off the corner from Grimm. Lee got away. Looking for a receiver. Throws it away. Hook six out of 15 for the day. Third and three. Hello. Can he get away? No. Stopped by Rashad Carmel. Lee takes off running. The first down would just about do it. He stopped short. And now both pull. Fabulous, eh? One of the great wonders of the world. The Carrier <laughs> Dome. Beautiful Central New York. Propped it out of the end zone. Throws it short. You're going to watch this timing here. And Graves is going to smell it right inside. He sees it and he's able to get to it from the backside. This great facility. One of the great bowl organizations in the country. And Hardesty's dropped for a loss. They continue to... Tennessee's leading receiver, Junior, out of Oklahoma City. Play action pass. Crompton is buried. Back at the 29. But Holding that inside leverage. Hill's the new starter for Stephon Virgil. First and goal from the floor. Crompton, a bullet dropped. Might be able to play. On second and two. Hardesty slipped as he took the handoff and got spun down. Full game. Exactly. Joe's one, 23 himself. Prompton on the roll, incomplete. Fantastic coach and great program. And during these 17 years in a row in a bowl, they've averaged nine and a half wins. Two tight ends in the game now. And Poole again, there's probably a lot of Tennessee fans who've never heard of this young man. And he had a nice matchup, but what he does there is Work off a low block extremely well and just gets down the... Yeah, his ears perked up when that came out. Well, you disavowed him that notion a little bit. <laughs> Crompton is still on his feet. And live on the play. Yeah, this is just meet me at the quarterback. And they, all the interior guys, it's nice, nicely done right there. Cadero Thompson's right there. Nikos Brown is right there. Worlds was there. Here's Jason Worlds again, just working off the top, rushing half a man. Thompson has done a pretty good job. We haven't called Worlds' name very much. Worlds quick off the ball there, and they try to set up a screen. This is just pure speed. And you talked about Freeney, and this is what he can do. He can get to an edge. He got it. Jesus. Hardesty. Of course, his backup is... Balls out. Cropped and down. You watch him just coming off this edge. They use a tight end in there. And then he just goes right around the freshman and just beats him. It's really well done. Aaron Douglas is the guy who is trying to block him, but it was just speed in it. All next year. A lot of talent coming back for 12th straight season.